Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these cute little glitter shot glasses. They were so simple to make and everything I used I purchased from the dollar store. I can't wait to show you how to create these cute glasses, so let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make these glitter shot glasses and I'm really excited because everything that I purchased was from the dollar store. I found my dollar store has this glitter now so I purchased every color that they had which unfortunately was only four but I was really excited to see that. So you're going to need glitter, a dry erase marker, some uh, electrical tape, sponge brushes, some Mod Podge, paper plate, some paper towel to clean up and then obviously your glasses. So here they are. There's three of these. These are actually called dessert glasses, but they're just like shot glasses. So I purchased a few of these. So to get started, oh, one more thing. You need some alcohol. You wanna rub your glasses before you even start. So I'm gonna move everything aside really quick and just start on my glasses. Like I said, the first thing, very important, is to clean your glasses first. So I'm just gonna take some alcohol, put it on a paper towel, and then just clean the outside of it. You wanna get any debris or finger marks or anything that might be on here. And then you just let them sit and let them dry. So while it's drying, I will show you the next part that you have to do. Okay, so the next part you wanna do is get your paper plate ready, and then you wanna figure out what color glitter you're gonna use. So I like this blue one actually. So instead of just taking the cover off and sprinkling on, I'm just gonna take the whole cover off, which makes it so much easier. Look at how pretty that is, isn't that pretty? So then you want to take a piece of your electrical tape and just take a small piece of it off. You can use your fingers, you can use the scissors, I just pull it like that. Set that aside and then you want to take your shot glass and you want to make sure it's dry. So I'm just taking another piece of paper towel and I'm actually going to use this. You need something to measure to go around the edges where you want your glitter to stop. So I tried it already and this actually came out perfect, this uh, size here. So I'm just going to put this down, put it the shot glass down next to it, take my dry erase marker, and then I'm just going to hold my dry erase marker just like this, nice and flat, and put it next to my cup, my glass, and just go around in a circle. And then that will give you... Um, a really straight line that you can put your tape around. So I'm just going to finish these really quick, do the same thing, flip it upside down, and you can use whatever size you want. I just figured that this tape was the perfect size, the perfect height for what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to do all three really quick, and then you just want to take your tape that you had. And um, this is where the fun part kind of comes in. Uh, you just want to take your tape, and this is where the marker part comes in. So now you can see where your line is, so you can go straight on here. So I'm just going right above my blue line, and if you need to pick it up, you can just pick it up. I like to pick it up and pull it, kind of give it a little bit of a stretch. So I'm just picking it up and pulling it really tight, and then laying it down on the next part. And unfortunately, I did not make my piece long enough. Shoot. But I'm just going to pull this piece up and pull it really tight to get it around the corner part here. And unfortunately, I didn't make it long enough, so I'm just gonna pull off another little piece and make sure my next piece is even longer. I'm always honest with you guys, so if I make a mistake, you're here with me. So I'm just gonna take it and put it on where I just was. And then just go up with these so that I can pull it off easier. So here it is. So you see you have this marker here. You definitely do not want that. So you're just gonna take your paper towel and rub that off. And if you have any underneath where your tape was, that's okay. You can get that when you're all finished. So this part is done. I'm gonna do the same thing with these two other ones really quick. And I'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch this part, but I'm just gonna make sure I cut off a larger piece of this tape and then just do the same process. But I'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch this. All right, so the next part is you wanna take your Mod Podge. I'm gonna give it a quick shake really quick. And put some on a plate. And then use your sponge brushes. I love these, they're like the perfect size for this. And they're disposable so you can just throw it out so you get, um, what is it, six of them for a dollar. So you just wanna take your brush, put a little bit of the Mod Podge on, 
and then basically just go on it and pull down. And I'm not gonna try to get it on the bottom here, so I'm just gonna be kind of careful just pulling it down and not going over the edge part because wherever this goes is where your glitter is going to stick. So I'm focusing a lot on the top here right where the tape is so I make sure that I get all that spot. But you're gonna do two or three layers, so if you do miss a spot on here, don't panic because you're gonna go over it a few more times anyway. So basically all I'm doing is just getting the glue or the Mod Podge everywhere. And then once you get it everywhere, you wanna make sure you have nice, thin, straight lines. You don't want like um, a bunch in one spot. And then if you have any in the bottom, you can just take your finger and kind of rub it if you don't want it on the bottom. Otherwise, people do put it on the bottom. I choose not to. So I'm gonna take another plate and then use my glitter. So I'm just gonna take it and sprinkle my glitter over the top of this and then kind of shake it as I go. And just keep turning. And you're not wasting your glitter because it's going right on your plate. So it's just gonna go right back into the container after you're finished. So I just kind of tap it each time after I'm done. And that's basically it. So if you have any spots in here that you can see through or that are kind of not as filled, that's okay because once this dries, you're gonna go over it with the Mod Podge again and finish it up about two or three more times. And then to finish it, you just do one more layer of Mod Podge. So I'll show you the whole process. But I've learned over the times of doing this with glasses is the best time to take off your tape is actually right now before your Mod Podge dries. I know it sounds silly because you wanna keep that line, but if you keep it on and that Mod Podge dries, you're gonna have a very uneven edge here. I've tried it, so I know, so unfortunately, it makes it a little bit harder for the next step, but it's the best way to do it. So I'm just being very careful, I'm not taking anything, and I'm just gonna peel it off slowly. And these little buggers are harder to work with because they're so small, I'm used to using big glasses. But here, I'll show you, you get a nice straight edge. So here it is, nice, beautiful, straight edge, if that's showing up. And then also nothing on the bottom too. Like I said, you can fill the bottom up, but I just choose not to. And if you have any spots that are kind of messed up or if you have some Mod Podge on it, Mod Podge on it, you can just wipe it off with your finger. But it's gonna dry anyway before the next step. So I'm just gonna set this one aside. I'm actually gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna put my glitter back into my container for my next one. So you just fold it up, which this plate doesn't want to fold up very easily. And then you just put it right back in to your container so you're not wasting anything. And I'm just going to use the same color in the next one. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing. Just take my Mod Podge and my brush and just work it all the way again. And I'm really focusing on the top edge up here because I want to make sure that's a nice clean edge and I'm just pulling it all the way down and I'm not globbing it in one spot. I'm just taking it and nicely going over it. So I'm not getting too much into one spot. I'm just kind of putting it all over. I'm sorry, so I'm kind of sick. I'm, I don't know if I'm catching something or just the morning, but sorry about that. <clears throat> so I'm just taking it and pulling it down. And this is so simple. You can do this on anything. I've done like makeup jars for my daughters with dollar store just little cups and I've done glitter cups for like holidays like Valentine's or no for let's see Halloween I did like the the hidden ones the peekaboo ones where you put your uh, vinyl on the side here and then you do the Mod Podge so when you drink it you see it in the inside but it's like peekaboo because you don't see it on the outside which is pretty cool I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in that but I just did a few of those I did some for Christmas I did some for Halloween and they turn out really cute so it's just like the peekaboo ones so I'm just doing the same thing just rubbing it all the way down making sure I don't get it on the bottom and then I'm just gonna take my blue again because I like this and then just sprinkle it over it and I'm gonna just kind of tap it and turn it as you go I know sometimes people have the urge of going on right now and fixing it if you have a hole or something, but I highly recommend not doing that because, like I said, you're going to do this two or three more times. So you're going to fill in that space. So this was a nice, even coverage. I don't see anything on the bottom here, so I'm not worried about it. And again, I'm just going to take my tape, find the edge of it, which I like to throw it on the inside so I know where it is, and then slowly peel off the tape. And then you get this nice crisp edge. 
So just like that. So if you, I have a little Mod Podge sitting right here, I'm just gonna use my finger and just move it for now. Or you could take like a, a Q-tip and kind of go around, but you want a nice even edge, which this is really nice. And I love this color, it is so pretty. And again, I didn't do the bottom, so I'm gonna finish these up. I'm gonna finish this one up. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna do some more colors. I have like this pinkish color here. I have this gold color and then I also have a purple. So I'm gonna keep going and do some more. Um, you could do the peekaboo, like I said, which you can go back and watch one of my videos showing you how to do it. But basically, if you wanna use vinyl, you can put it on right now before you put the glitter on and then when you drink it, you can see it. So that's why they call it peekaboo, which is kinda cool. So I'm gonna finish these up really quick. I'm gonna let them all dry, which takes about a half an hour for the Mod Podge to dry. And then I'll show you the next step. All right guys, I went a little crazy and I kinda did some more, but I figured if I'm gonna get the glitter out and get all messy right now I might as well do some more so I did some red ones I did these blue ones over here I did the silver ones so I kind of went all crazy and did a whole bunch of colors I'm going to try to sell these at the local store I'll let you know how that goes I'm not actually really sure how much I should do these for so I'm gonna actually look on uh, Etsy and kind of see get a feel for what other people are selling them for it's kind of what I do if I don't know a price of something I know people do like two times the material times two times the time you work on it, but I don't really know. This isn't really taking very long. It's just more of a long process, I guess, of letting the things dry and then you just get glitter everywhere. So I'm gonna start out with the dollar store ones that I got here. So I'm gonna start out with one of these pink ones. So if you touch it, you shouldn't have any of the Mod Podge come off. So none of this glitter came off. So as you see, I already took the tape off and it has a really nice clear line. So the next part you're gonna to wanna to do, and it depends how many layers you wanna do. I might only do two layers on here, but it depends on how dark your uh, glitter shows up, I guess. So I'm just taking the same paintbrush or the same brush that I had before, and then this is the really part where you have to like concentrate and kinda of take your time. So I'm just taking the Mod Podge and I have a little bit more on it, and I'm going to the top of the edge here. And again, the, the tape would have been nice to have on here, but if I would have left it on, it would have pulled up all the glitter that I had and it wouldn't look so nice. So now I have a nice clean edge. So now I'm just doing the same thing as I did before, but I'm hardly putting any pressure on it now. I'm just kind of letting it glide because I don't want to pull up the glitter that I have on here already. So I'm just going to dab this and put more on. So I put a whole bunch of Mod Podge on here now, but you still want to take it where you don't have globs of it in in some places and not so much in the other so take your time with this i'm just slowly going up to the top as far as i can and then i'm pulling it down and i'm doing it softly so i don't pull the glitter off you're going to get a little bit of glitter off which is okay but you don't want to pull it all off so i'm just going to do all this for all the way around doing the same thing just pulling it down and this is where it comes in where, I don't know if you can see it well, but I have some kind of showing through on the bottom here. So this is the part where you can fill in if you missed any spots. But you don't want any globs of it on because if you have globs of it, then it's gonna be globs of glitter. So you wanna make sure that you have the equal amount all the way around. And you do wanna work kind of quickly with this because this Mod Podge will dry on you before you even get a chance to put the glitter on. So I'm kind of working quickly but then kind of taking my time, if that makes sense, and just working my way around and putting more Mod Podge on. Just like that and just pulling everywhere. And then you just wanna go through and make sure you have everywhere because if this is your only, if you only wanna put two coats on, I wouldn't even waste your time putting another coat on, but you wanna make sure that you get it. So if you see there's a glob right here I'm just taking the brush and pulling it down so I don't have that big spot there because I don't want a lot of glitter to be in one spot. So there, so now it's all the way around. I'm gonna clear my fingers, make sure I don't have any Mod Podge on them. And then you can see, and I still did not do the bottom. Again, it's your choice if you wanna do the bottom, but I'm not. So I went as close as I could to the top up here. Does not have to be perfect, but you just wanna be able to fill in everywhere. So I'm gonna take the same glitter that I had before and I'm just gonna do the same process, just sprinkle it on. And I think that these two layers will be just enough, but again, I'm gonna let it dry and see what it looks like. It might need three, but I'm thinking that two, two layers will be just fine. 
but I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. So you wanna cover all the Mod Podge, all the white. So I'm just tapping it to make sure the extra is coming off. And if you have extras at the top here, like this right here, you just wanna take like a cotton ball or a Q-tip and wipe it. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna use my finger right now to show you. It comes right off because you did not put any Mod Podge there. So it's always easier if you just take like a uh, Q-tip or something and go around the top, but that will come off. And the same with the bottom. Again, there's nothing there, but I'm going to let this sit. Again, this is just more of a long process. That's why I did all of these instead of just a few of them. I'm going to finish this step with every one of these, and then I'm going to come back and see if there's any holes or any missing spots. I'll do another layer, but if there's not, the last thing to do is just do the same thing what I just did and just put Mod Podge on it, and that seals it. Like, glue so i know some people use the dishwasher safe mod podge and then they throw it in the dishwasher but i don't do that i just tell people if i make these i make little handmade um, stickers for it that go in the inside of it saying how to wash it don't hand wash it don't so i mean hand wash it don't soak it don't put it in the dishwasher just so people know so when they take it home from when they purchased it from they remember oh yeah i'm not supposed to put it in the dishwasher so there is dishwasher stuff out there but i just choose not to do it so Again, I'm going to skip this part for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish all of these up. I'll, I think I have like 20 of them or so here. I'm going to finish them up, let them dry, and then I'll show you the next step. Like I said, it's just putting more Mod Podge on and then that's it. All right, guys, I am all finished with the second coat. I think that's all it needs is just the two coats. So I'm finished with every one of these. They turn out really amazing. I love the colors. I love the coats on them. Um, they're nice and thick. So the dollar store stuff really did work out really well. So the last part to do is you can do this as optional. I just took my a dry clean uh, paintbrush or foam brush and I went around the edges and got all of the extra glitter off of them. It's just an extra step if you want to do it now or if you want to do it later. You can always do it with just the brush or like I said before you can use like a q-tip or something and kind of go around the edges but I just do that to make it look nice and clean. And the last step to this to do is basically what you've been doing is just take a clean foam brush and some and a clean paper plate with some new Mod Podge and you basically want to seal it. So what I'm doing is just lightly, this time I'm doing it lightly, taking it and doing just the same thing, going on it as close up to the top as I can and then I'm just pulling it down. So I'm just putting just a little bit on and I'm not pulling any of the glitter off. And instead of putting more glitter on this time, this time is just sealing it. So I'm not doing anything else after I do this. I'm just doing one last coat. This is going to be really light. And it's going to, it looks white now, but when it dries, it'll be completely clear. And then you'll be able to touch the glasses and none of the uh, glitter will come off. So please don't miss, miss doing this step. Um, like I said before, if you have like the dishwasher Mod Podge, you can throw it in the dishwasher, but still then, I don't think I would do that. I think I would still just tell people, hey, hand wash this and don't soak it in anything. But again, this Mod Podge will um, dry clear and it's just like uh, glue, so it's going to hold all of the glitter in. So nothing will come off once you take it and you drink off of it, none of it will come off, but still you got to be careful and finish this step. So I'm almost finished. I just want to show you what it looks like when it's all done. And then, like I said, once it's done, it'll dry and it'll be completely clear and you'll just see the glitter behind it and then nothing else will come up. But you want to make sure you get everywhere. So you want to see that white over everything so that none of your glitter will come off. So just like that. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these little guys. They're so cute. Um, I'm looking at this one and I'm thinking you can even do this like on a flower vase. That would be really pretty. Like I'm see looking at this trying to figure on a bigger scale. Um, I'm not a drinker so I won't be keeping any of these. But I thought they'd be kind of cute to sell at the store up the street. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. But this is how it looks when it's all done. And then when it's finished again it'll just look like this. You will not see the white on it. It'll dry clear. And you want to make sure that you don't have any of these streaky lines. So if you do just kind of go over it and rub it again but just like that. But 
I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope you go out and try your own. You don't have to do just these. The possibilities are endless. You can do it on other cups. You can do it on mugs. You can do it on whatever you want, but it was so much fun. Everything I used here was from the dollar store, so I was really happy by that. Um, I will tell you to do all of these cups that I have here. I probably have about 20 cups. I went through one whole bottle of this, but again, that was a dollar for this bottle. And I used, this is my second sponge brush. I used, um, or foam brush rather, sorry. I used two of these, this one and then the other one. I threw the other one out because it was full of the colors, of the different colors of uh, sprinkles I was using, the glitter, so, um, but other than that, it was, you know, let's see, $3 for, you know, it was a dollar for three of these, and then a dollar for the bottle of Mod Podge, and then a dollar for six foam brushes. So it was about, you know, two dollars for not even two dollars for the whole thing because I went through a whole bottle of Mod Podge for twenty cups and then I also have, you know, four foam brushes left. So I'm still trying to figure out how to price these. I'm not really sure how to do it, but I really love how they turn out. Hey, thumbs up if you guys like this tutorial and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a comment below if you've made these before. What have you guys made with glitter? Like I said, I did ones for Halloween where you had the inside. It was the peekaboo ones where you saw the, the vinyl on the inside. But for these ones, I'm not going to do vinyl. I might do another tutorial where I go down further and then I can put vinyl on it. But this for now, I love how this turned out and it's going to be completely able to wash these and use them whenever. So give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and happy crafting everyone I did go a step further I spray painted these containers they came in I gave them three light coats each I think this just makes them look a little bit better and more complete I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and happy crafting